So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use an online tool that allows you to simulate your Arduino projects. And it is called Tinkercad, which is an online Arduino simulator. You can create your own projects and write the sketch. Then you can simulate it without using an actual Arduino board. In today's lesson, I'm going to simulate this project. We can turn this LED on using this push button. So we are going to create the circuit using this tool so that we can check if we have the same results. You have to go to this link. Then you can create an account for free. I've already done that. And here's my account. To create a new project, you could go to this icon, then hit this new design button. You will see different options like 3D design and circuit. That's what we're gonna focus on. And here's the interface of this tool. We have these components that we can drag and drop. You could also search for the component under here, like an Arduino board. So let's write that. We have an Arduino Uno. Then we can drag it. First, I'm gonna create a blink sketch and turn this LED on and off. Then we will add the other components. To do that, we can go to code. And here you have two options. You could make your code using blocks by dragging these functions like set pen, but I highly recommend you to use uh, coding, which is text. They have already added a blink sketch. So here we have the pen mode function that takes in the LED pen, which is the built-in LED and the output keyword. Then they have used the digital write command to turn the LED on for one second, then turn it off. And that's the blink sketch. Let's give it a try. Before that, you have to select the board. It's already selected, which is an Arduino Uno. And we can start the simulation using this button. And there you go. The built-in LED is turning on and off each second. I'm using the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And you could drag using the left mouse button. Now let's add the LED as well as the push button so that we can control it. Before that, you will need to stop the simulation or you will not be able to add the components or adjust the code. And let's go back to the components. The same thing, you could search for the components that you want to use, like this LED. I'm going to drag it and the resistor. Also, we need a push button. Here, I'm using a 220 ohm resistor. You could adjust the value of the resistance by selecting it. And here we have 1K, but I'm going to use ohm. And that will actually change its value. Then let's take this LED. When I selected this lead, you see that we have this wire. With the left mouse, you could connect it to the other side of the ohm resistor. Then we can select this side and go to the G and D. I want to control this LED using the pin number 13. Or let's use the pin number 8 by selecting the anode pin and the pin number 8. You could also change the color of the wire. I want to use a red wire. And for the G and D, I will use a black one. And let's try to adjust the code. For example, I want to change the LED pin, which is number 8. Then we can turn it on and off using the digital write command. It is recommended to use a variable, but let's stick with that for now. And let's hit simulate. And there you go, we have a blinking LED. Now let's control it with the push button. I'm going to connect one lead to the G and D and the other one to one of the digital pins so that we can read the voltage using the digital read command. If you don't know how to use push buttons, make sure to watch one of my previous videos. I have talked about that in depth. We could improve the look of our circuit by adding curves to this wire. You have to double click on the right mouse button. And there you go, we have this point. Then we can drag it and put it like this. And let's add another one using the right mouse button to add this end point. And finally, I'm going to connect the other side to the pin number two. Then we can move on to the code. And let's start this from scratch so that you can learn. First, I'm going to add the pin numbers using const int. And let's start with the LED pin. And it is connected to the pin number eight. Don't forget the semicolon. Then let's add another one for the button. I'm going to call it btn pin, which is two. Then under the setup function, we have to add pin mode so that we can set the LED pin as an output. 
and we want to use our BTN pin as an input so that we can read the voltage and check whether we have pressed the push button or not. In this case, we have two options. We have input pull up and the pull down. The difference is that pull up returns zero when we press the button. And if we release it, we get one using the digital read command. But the pull down is exactly the opposite. We get one when we press the button. And if it's released, we read the value zero from this pin. Now we can move on to the loop function, which is called over and over again. We can check if the digital read command, this takes the button pin. We're going to check if it's zero, which means we have pressed the button. In that case, we are going to turn the LED on. And don't forget to close the curly braces. In this case, I'm going to use the digital write command. And it takes two parameters, the LED pin and the high keyword, which means 5 volts, and that turns the LED on. Otherwise, using else, we are going to turn the LED off with the same command, digital write. So I will copy this line of code and paste it, then change this to low to turn the LED off. Now we can hit start simulation. So the good thing about this tool, that it behaves like the Arduino IDE, we have this error because I'm missing a curly braces at the beginning of the loop function. Then we can hit simulate again, and everything is fine. We can press this button, and the LED turns on. And when I release it, it turns off. So you see, it's really simple to use this tool. Even if you don't have an Arduino board, you could follow our tutorials. We can turn the LED on and off. I think that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I hope you like it, and I will see you in the next one.